Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the totem pole MOSFET gate driver. This is most commonly used circuit to drive the MOSFET for higher switching application and it is also cost effective circuit, right? It is cost effective circuit. You can see some three transistor and some registers and let us understand, let us understand what is totem pole gate driver and how this circuit works why do we need this circuit why do we need here npn and pnp transistor both why do we need both npn and pnp configuration to drive the mosfet okay why do we need additional transistor here and why do we need the totem pole mosfet gate driver okay so let us understand so to answer the question why do we need totem pole gate driver so let us let us let us understand this so since your input voltage is 3.3 volt and it is coming from the microcontroller okay so but you want to drive your mosfet with 10 or 12 volts you want to drive your power power mosfet m1 with 10 or 12 volt in order to do this in order to do this what you need to do okay you have to increase the gate voltage how will you increase the gate voltage you will increase the gate voltage by using some driving circuitry or gate driver right so here i have used the totem pole configuration that means i have used npn and pnp transistor together to drive the gate of this mosfet m1 okay so why do we need npn and pnp together so this transistor q1 that means npn transistor bc547 provides a power path so you can see from my cursor from 12 volt it goes here when this q1 conducts it goes the gate of the mosfet and at that point of time the gate to source voltage will be 12 volt so this 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 npa transistor provides a turn on path that means turn on voltage of your mosfet and this pnp transistor provides when this is off q1 is off q2 is on so it provides the discharge gate path okay so it provides the gate, discharge gate paths and it discharges the gate capacitance of m1 okay so why do we need to discharge the gate capacitance of m1 why because in order to get higher switching speed you need to discharge you need to discharge the gate capacitance of n1 that means your turn on and turn off time should be very less okay that means your rise time and your fall time should be very less so in order to achieve this we need to discharge we need to discharge gate 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 capacitance very fast and we also need to charge the gate capacitance of this mosfet very fast so you can see this q1 provides the charging path with the higher voltage 12 volt and this q2 provides a discharging path so that so that we can achieve higher switching frequency okay in order okay so let's let's say you have 3.3 volt you add by using this circuit you are also increasing the gate driving voltage at the same time you are also increasing the switching switching speed of your mosfet by using this very good commonly used totem pole mosfet gate driver okay okay so this is all about q1 and q2 let us understand why do we need q3 okay so in order to turn on q1 and q2 i need to turn on q3 when this is when this is q3 is off that means when q3 is off that means your q1 is on that means your mosfet m1 is on when your q3 is on that means your q2 is on and so if your q3 is on that means your m1 is off your q3 is off that means your m1 is on so this is basically used to turn on q1 and q2 okay now let us run the simulation and let us see how this circuit behaves okay 
so let me run the simulation okay and let me divide it into three plot pane okay and let me show you so this signal i am going to show you the signal is coming from the microcontroller right and okay and the amplitude of this signal is 3.3 volt you can see here now let me show you the signal at totem pole gate base okay this is base so you can see you can see when you when you what you can see here when your microcontroller signal is low that means here you can see your signal is high and when your microcontroller signal is high that means here you can see your signal is low okay so it 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 works when this point is high that means you can get low signal here when this is low that means you will get high signal here now let me show you the gate of the mosfet so you can see here you have 3.3 volt and here you have 12.2 12, 12 volt and you can see this is your mosfet gate signal and you can see here it you have 12 volt that means you are driving this mosfet gate with the help of three microcontroller that is logic level 3.3 volt but actually you are driving your mosfet gate with 12 volt so if you drive the mosfet gate with the 12 volt you are increasing the mosfet gate drive at the same time by using this totem pull configuration you can see you are also increasing the switching speed if i say switching speed you can see the turn on and turn off time is very sharp you can see here guys it is very sharp let me show you the current flowing through this mosfet okay so you can see this circuit is designed to the flow the current of one ampere you can see here one ampere here so you can see this this is designed to draw the load current of one ampere so you can see by using this simple circuitry that three additional transistor and you can see one additional resistance by using three simple circuit by using this discrete components which is very low cost effective if you're going to if you going to calculate the cost of three transistor and one resistor it would be less in spite of choosing a gate driver integrated circuit if you go for any ic which is which is dedicatedly made for made to drive the mosfet gate it will cost you more but you can see here here by using simple circuitry and by using three transistor and one register even you can drive your mosfet gate with the higher voltage and you can achieve the higher switching frequency so thanks guys for watching this video if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section Thank